Storm Boy by Paul Owen Lewis with the page in the middle. That chief son ran fishing alone and a terrible storm arose. He soon felt himself washed under a strange sky he never seen before. There was a village there, the canoe, the houses, the canoes, and even the people were very large. I am a chief's son, and I am lost. A storm has brought me to you, said the boy. We know this. You are welcome, son of a chief from above, said one who appeared like a chief himself, and together they entered the largest house of all. Inside the house was Rabbit fine with fine leaves. Fine leaves just people enjoying a feast. They gave him a flaky to wear and a fish to eat, but the fish was not cut up or cooked. Strange, too, on the walls all around were what looked like killer whales. After they finished eating, the chief said to the others, Let us sing the wel a welcome song to invite our guests to join in the dance of our people. You are welcome, you are welcome, son of a chief from above, they sang. The boy and his host began to dance around the fire together to the steady beat of drums. He matched them step for step, and the chief smiled when he saw the boy had so quickly learned their dance. In return, the boy offered to teach the songs and dances of his own people. The chief was delighted, and he and now followed the boy's lead. The celebration went on in this way for many long hours. The boy and his new friends each learned from the other. But though the boy was enjoying himself, he began to think more and more of his home with each, of, with each song he sang. He missed his father and mother and wondered if he would ever find his way back home to, to them again. Suddenly, so, suddenly the drumming and depth in stop. The chief turned to him and said, we are glad that the storm has brought you to our village. But now we are thinking of our own. Then you went to return. Return. He continued. He continued. Grab my staff. Tightly. Tightly. And stand. stand behind me. Close your eyes. Think of your own home. Wishing, Wishing to be there only. The boy did as he was told, he took the staff and stood behind the chief, closed his eyes, 
he pictured his father and mother, his house, and the people of his village. As he did, the boy felt a greater shrug search. search beneath him, as if he were being carried upward. In greater and greater speed, he kept his eyes closed and held on tight. The motion, motion, the motion stopped. And the boy opened his eyes. There he was lying on the beach in front of his own village. My son, crying his mother, where have you been? We, f we thought. thought you were lost in the storm a year ago. I was lost in the storm, but it was only it, it was only yesterday exclaimed the boy. But as years time has indeed passed since he had disappeared in the storm that night the whole village celebrated his return and marveled that at the boy as he danced with his staff and told of the large mysterious people under the strange sky. Pa the, the end. end.